What up, Tando Todo Mundo? Welcome back to the Hi. channel, everybody. Hi. First and foremost, I want to say a happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Thank you guys for watching. And on this episode, we are going to be checking out the high residence here in Dorado, Puerto Rico. Coming to check out the pool. Room isn't ready yet. Yeah, so we're here at the pool. We're gonna check it out. It looks good. Not really many people here, which I like. All right, you guys, so we made it to the pool here. You know what? One of the things we were kind of worried that it's coming on a holiday weekend. We know the, the hotel sold out, but the front desk person assured me that they're very you know, strict on the percentage policy, so we're not gonna see a lot of people around the pool at any given time. You do have to make reservations for the pool. Now, it's per time slot. So what I was told from the front desk is that the time slots for the pool is from 11 to three, and then three to seven. So, and then that's for every day. So you take your pick or whatever works best for you and your family. We chose a three to seven. They say by these wristbands that they give you, it'll give them an idea or tell people, you know, which time block you're in. No, they said they're not really strict on that too much. If you want to go early or stay a little later and there isn't a lot of people, they're not going to be too crazy about, you know, you know, asking people to leave. But if you know, they are really big on keeping that 30% capacity, which is what they are allowed to have now. So thank you for hitting the camera, Gabby. And uh, so just keep that in mind. You do have to make that kind of a reservation. But all in all, it's great. We got the nice little chairs out here. We're on the umbrella. We're gonna go check out this pool and see how it is. So we're here, we finally got in the room. It's, it's a weird little layout. So when you come through the hallway, get your main door here. And you have two hotel rooms. This one's ours. Let's go take a look at it. Hi. <laughs> MTV Crip style. All right, so you guys, so we are here in the room. First thing we come in, we come to the door is- They have like, that toaster and a microwave. <laughs> we have a little kitchenette behind us. Microwave, toaster, cups, utensils. This is a residence, so this is also a timeshare. So people do come and spend a week or two here. So it's good to see these kind of amenities here for people that are gonna be staying longer than us, which is just one day. Little closet here with, I believe that's the bedding for the sofa bed and safe, you know, ironing board, all the basics, what you would expect to see. You have the bathroom. Very nice, very clean. Look. It's Mother's Day weekend, so I know the higher residence here is packed. They told me they are at full capacity for what they are allowed. And so far, we have gotten nothing but great customer service. Shout out to, to Isalis and the front desk who has really taken care of us since we've been here. And let's take a look at the rest of the room. We have, so we chose the studio room, which comes with a king bed, sofa bed, uh, you know, your standard TV, whatnot. Has a sitting area here where you have your couch, which is a sofa bed. You have all your charges here. It's those little things that really make a nice touch for you, these type of hotels. We have another sitting area here. And every room here in the Hyatt Residence in Dorado has a balcony that looks out to the water with a tremendous view. Oh my, oh it's breezy out here. So obviously we can sit. So from here you can see the beach. Let's go to the beach, let's get a look. Oh, see a volleyball <laughs> court. See a volleyball court over there? Yeah. All right, back there that other building is the old uh, Hyatt Seromara. That's how you pronounce it, Seromara? Seromar, something like that, yeah. 
it is from what we're being told is now in the middle of being demolished i wonder what's gonna be over there maybe an extension of the hotel maybe maybe not but the breeze is amazing on these balconies and i'm very happy so far we've already taken a few hours in the pool pool was great let's go see what else the this particular hotel has to offer for everybody so we hit the pool for a few hours it was nice did you enjoy yourself I did. did you enjoy the pool gabby i did too <laughs> we're now fresh and clean and about to go get something to eat we are in the move for some really good puerto rican food so we're gonna go explore De dorado and explore what dorado <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go, go look at dorado see what we can find and then come back here and yeah see what else we're gonna get into you ready yes let's go This parking is for members of the timeshare. So if you have a timeshare here, here with the higher parking is there. On the other side of the street is the parking for hotel guests like ourselves. So if you decide to stay here, just to let you know. Okay, so we were finishing dinner. So we're on the seventh floor, right? We we're eating dinner on the balcony and we kept seeing this light or multiple lights in the water. We assumed they were flashlights, but we didn't know and we're curious. So we decided to walk down to the beach and figure it out. But now that you know we're at a different angle, we can't really tell what it is. Definitely not flashlight. We don't think they're flashlight. We don't I even know if they're, they're people. I think they're These two think they're mermaids. I'm not sure what it is. Either a mermaid or a pirate. Or Could people be a... looking for treasure. We don't know what it is. We can't really see it from here. It's hard to get it on camera. We're going to stay out here for a little bit and see if we can figure out what that light is. Aliens? UFOs? Who knows? Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Next. <laughs> yes, it's the next day, Gabby. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, you know, echoing. Being, being my echo here. We had a great night's sleep. Happy Mother's Day. Wow. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. To all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. We have to rush home really quick because I forgot something. So I'm going to go rush home real quick. So once I snap my fingers, we'll be downstairs checking out other stuff. So I snapped and I ended up in the balcony, not in the lobby, like I said it was gonna be. But anyway, we back, ran home real quick, got, got what we needed. We stopped at this place called Grey Cafe. G-R-E-C-A-F-E, all one word, Grey Cafe. Food looks really good. Very small little tiny place, but it's amazing. I'm gonna put their information below. If you guys are having Dorado, Puerto Rico, make sure you stop by and try them out. They do take reservations, which is a plus. Not too many places in Puerto Rico take reservations, at least by my knowledge. So check them out. They do breakfast, they do brunch, they do lunch. That's that's their main thing. They have a nice wine list. Again, all that information will be linked down below. back here in the room it's been a crazy day we really enjoyed ourselves i took you guys to see the beach you guys saw mahi mahi the restaurant that's over here i've been hearing really good things i didn't personally try the food but we did have drinks and the drinks were very good 
I will link a put somehow I'll put a link down below with the menu for this restaurant that I see on the property. I know that was one thing that we couldn't find was like a copy of the, of the menu to see, you know, what do they serve? What do they have? What are the prices? We were able to get a copy of it and we're going to link it down below somehow. So if you're looking for that, you'll see it there. We had a great time here. Um, Taylor liked it. Gabby liked it. Gabby liked uh, it. Gabby. <laughs> what did you? I like but, that pool. Like the pool. We had a great time. I give this hotel a four out of five. The room, amazing top-notch it's very nice it's cleaned up to the standards that you would expect with everything going on in the world right now bring your bathing suits if you're gonna be here for quite a bit of time I would suggest getting a room with a full kitchen so that you guys can cook if you guys have any questions or comments here about the Hyatt Residence Club in Dorado Puerto Rico make sure you guys leave me a comment down below and if you like this kind of content and you found it valuable make sure you hit the thumbs up button and of course, if you want to see more content here from Puerto Rico, make sure you guys subscribe. My name is Andres. On behalf of me and my family, we'll see you guys next time.